Hello, my name is Abdullah Hamid. I am here to present our paper Fake News Detection in Social Media Using Graph Neural Networks and NLP Techniques, a COVID-19 Use Case. The fake news detection topic was split into two subtasks. One was text-based misinformation detection and the other was structure-based misinformation detection. Here is our proposed methodology for the text-based a text-based misinformation detection. The first challenge for us was to balance the data set as the data provided for the first um, for the for this task was imbalanced. Class 3 had a lot more samples than the other two classes so it was divided into n parts and each of the n parts uh, each of the n part and the other classes were used to create models the results from each model were combined together using late fusion techniques like submission of probabilities and majority voting for the final result as for the nlp for the nlp models bert and uh, bag of words was chosen and for the classifier naive bayes and logistic regression were selected Naive Bayes was used with bag of words and logistic regression was used alongside BERT. Here is a diagram of our proposed methodology. The second subtask was structure based misinformation detection. For that, we used GNN's graphical neural networks. Graphical neural networks work work on graph structure its typical application is node classification to train the model the data set was divided into train valid valid paths which was about 80 10 and 10 grid search was used to obtain the best hyperparameter the model had four mlp layers and used mean and max operations for neighbor pooling and graph pooling the experimental results for the uh, TMD task. A total of six runs were submitted for the TMD task. Run 1 to 3 were ternary classification of 5G conspiracy, other conspiracy and non-5G conspiracy classes and run 4 to 6 were binary classifications of 5G conspiracies and non-5G conspiracy samples. The non-5G conspiracy class had other uh, conspiracy samples plus non-5G uh, conspiracy samples uh, combined together. Run 1 and 2 are based on bag of words while the first one was done using a majority voting technique and the second one was done using the submission of probabilities technique. Run 3 is based on BERT model. Run 4 and 5 again are using bag of words and were the first one was, use, were use, was made using majority voting and the second one was use, uh, made using the submission of probabilities. Run 6 is again based on BERT model. From this uh, experimental results table it's clear that the, when bag of words used with majority voting technique had a much better result than the normal bag of word with submission uh, of probabilities technique and BERT model. For the SMD task, we submitted only one run. The model was trained on the thousand on thousand epochs with a learning rate of 0 0.01 and the dropout 0 0.3 is applied on the final layer. The final embedding size is 128. The run result is shown on the left. The results show that the model had discriminative power to learn and classify the graph structure. Conclusion and future work. In this tasks, in these tasks, we used state-of-the-art uh, methods like BERT and bag of words. Overall, we had good results with bag of word when used with majority voting technique. Uh, in the current implementation, uh, we and both texture, uh, textual and the structural information are used independently. In future, we want to further improve the structural misinformation detection with using textual information for better prediction of fake news. Fake news. Thank you.